Well, great evening. Excuse me, I just got out of the bath. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to um, give a breakdown of Vivek Ganapati. Yes, that's his middle name. His middle name is Ganapati, and his last name is Ramaswamy. So what does that mean? If you want a breakdown of what his name actually means, the first name is Vivek. Now, Vivek means a discernment. It's one that sees beyond the veil, that sees beyond the transitory, that's got very deep wisdom, that can see beyond all of the fallacies. Okay, Vivek, great discernment, wisdom, uh, again, one that's completed the path has Vivek, has great discernment. And so the middle name, Ganapati, comes from Ganesh. Now, Ganesh, in Hinduism, if you are doing um, pujas, then the first one you propitiate when you do the puja would be Ganesh. Ganesh is the dispeller of obstacles. Ganesh is the son of Shiva and Shakti, Parvati, okay? Now, um, Ganesh was created because uh, Parvati was married to Shiva, and she wanted a child, and Shiva was not interested. She would dance, she would flirt, she would do everything to get his attention, but he was in meditation, okay? He was not having it, not interested at all in carnality. So she took and scraped the skin and created her son, Ganesh. Now, what happened was she was taking a bath and she told Ganesh to watch and don't let anybody in. Well, here comes Shiva. He doesn't know she created Ganesh and he takes a sword and he chops off his head, <laughs> okay? Well, Parvati was inconsolable. So he goes, well, wait, 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 wait. The first animal that comes along, I'll cut his head off and attach it to, to the sun and he'll be alive again. So it was an elephant. So that's why Ganesh has, a, it has an elephant head, okay? Um, but usually they show him fully as a little elephant baby, okay? Um, but in the story, uh, he, again, was a, was a child, looking like a child, and he attached the head of an elephant. <laughs> I don't write him, I just tell you, <laughs> okay? But Ganesh... They say that he, you know, he has one tusk that's broken because he broke one tusk and he wrote down all this information for humanity to give them wisdom out of compassion, okay? So that's, it means, Ganesh means dispeller of obstacles. If you have truth, if you have wisdom, you have obstacles dispelled because you understand and you can go forward, okay? So Rama. Ramaswamy, we take the first part of the name, Rama. It comes from Ram, who was way back in antiquity. Now, Ram, Rama was uh, one that they are all uh, to look up to because he was all right action, right thinking, moral, etc. So you should follow in the footsteps of Rama. Now, Swami means Lord. Okay, now usually Swami is given as an honorific to one that's taken sannyas, um, that is on the path, like my, my name is, uh, they call me Guru Swami Ji. Okay, now Swami doesn't mean lording it over another, it means lord over your own passions. Okay, it means uh, going beyond ego. That is what one works on. Well, when it comes to Vivek Ganapati uh, Ram Swami, he's none of those things. In fact, he's the opposite. So when it comes to Vivek, I call him Bat Boy 
because he needs to go back in his cave because he's, as far as eyesight, he's as useless as a bat in the high daylight, okay? So he needs to go back in his cave where he does his dark deals. He's done some very dark things in his life to make money, etc. So, bat boy. Bat boy, knock off smarmy, okay? Why do I call him knock off? Because in India, if you are a sadhu, I was a sadhvi for quite for some time, lived the life of a sadhvi, and have taken actual sannyas ceremonies. And um, so it's, when we say a uh, fake sadhu, in sadhu language, we say he's a Nakali Baba. He's a fake. Nakali is fake. So the closest thing to Nakali Baba or a fake sadhu or a fake swami would be knockoff. So he's knockoff. And as far as being lord over anything, he's smarmy. He is not lord over anything. He's not trying to contain passions. He's not trying to uh, go beyond it. He's reveling in it, in it. He's chasing name, fame, fortune. And he doesn't care how he does it. He's a denier of 9-11. Okay? This guy is, like I said... He's bat boy, knock off smarmy. So that if you hear me talk about bat boy or knock off smarmy, you know who I'm speaking of. <laughs> so I just wanted to put that out there so you understand how I came up with his name and why I came up with his, his name and what his name actually means. Um, when you break it down, um, and he's 180 degrees, the opposite of what his name points to. So I'm going to leave that here. For those out there that are Hindu, how, how good did I do with that explanation? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you online.